his way to the blue corner. He is 22 years of age. He stands 175 centimeters tall. He represents Thailand. He is Talitong Sor Tanape. Here he comes, the Guri Ram native, Talay Tong Sortanapet, training these days out of the uh, Kila Sport Gym here in uh, Bangkok. Current Channel 7 Stadium Super Rugby Champion. Won that fight, that title back in March, March 4th, against uh, Pet Matuk from Eminent Air Gym. Knocked him out in the fourth round with a fantastic spear elbow. Current Thailand Super Rugby Champion. And ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our second challenger, making his way to the red corner. This fighter is 27 years of age. He stands 185 centimeters tall. He represents Morocco. He is Yusuf Bukanom Pet Saman. And here he comes, Yusuf Bukanom, representing the Pet Sanam Gym from Pattaya, Thailand. Current Rajadamnan middleweight champion. Beat Compet Lek to win the belt. Defended it twice against Yatayak Sitsampinong and Napagao Sirilak Muay Thai Gym. Ranked number one here at Lumpini in the middleweight division. Former Omnoy Stadium middleweight champion. Former Thai Fight Tournament champion. Current Phoenix World Champion. Current WBC Muay Thai middleweight champion. He has had a storied career. Back in 2010, he lost the Thai Fight final against Fabio Pinka. After that, it was onwards and upwards for this Moroccan fighter. Uh, fought at Bangkok's Channel 7 Stadium. To my knowledge, only one of ten fighters for Soren Monkontong, Stephen Miko, Damian Alamos, Fabio Pinko. Pinka joined that. Made history at Omnoy Stadium back in 2015 when he won the Omnoy Stadium title. First and only foreigner ever to own a belt for Omnoy. But tonight is the big one, Yusef Buganem will literally make Muay Thai history tonight, Teddy Mulvey, should he, should he? reign victorious over Tele Tong. I was just talking about Tele Tong there. Tele yeah. Tong, okay. current Channel 7 welter super welterweight champion, 154 pounds, current Thailand super welterweight, 154 pounds champion. Four weeks ago, he won the Top King World Series four-man qualifier, beat Kong and Dam in the semi-finals via knockout, and then beat Sogdara Pet Ying Di in the final. Ranked number one at Lumpini in the Super Welterweight division. Yep. He has beaten, of course, the Shark, Aussie fighter Chad Collins fought uh, Tele Tong here last year in 2017. I can't remember the month, but I remember they fought. Uh, he lost, Chad Collins lost on points to Tele Tong. And wow, here we go. Tele Tong moving up in weight to take on Yusef Bruganem. This is for the Lopini. This will the Napagao was the first ever champion at 160. So let's see how we go. Yusef Buganem and Tele Tong saw Tanapet for the Lumpini Stadium Middleweight Championship. Yes, last few fights he's just come out very aggressive, taking control. Pretty much won every round. You were there when Tele Tong knocked out his opponent at Challenge 7 Stadium. Channel 7, yes, sir. To win the belt. And that elbow in the fourth round. Yusuf is uh, beautiful. doing his very colorful and cultural white crew slash ram right now. Remember, I'm pretty sure his brother Yassine did the same the stomp in the opposing corner. Let's talk about Yusuf for a minute. Okay. How he's overrated. <laughs> just kidding. You want to slap? Obviously, you want to slap? Obviously, <laughs> just kidding. Obviously, hashtag just kidding. He's, he's the legend in the sport. <laughs> Talk okay. about him. Let us know. His last fight, okay. he beats Payak down, Phoenix 7. Before Quite easy. that, beat Napagao, Siri Lop. Both of them were a no mouse. Both of them, like, yeah. stand up Phoenix TKO. Phoenix 3, he beat Arthur Saladik. The one I want to talk about was okay. the fight with Yad Payak last year at uh, Rajadamnan, where he defended the belt. Initially, he was supposed to fight Wan Chalam, Udan Muang. Wan Chalam had to pull out because he had an injury. So he defended the belt. Uh, Yad Payak took the fight, st okay. st stood up to the plate. The amazing part about it was when he knocked Yusef down, I think it was the second round, how he got up from that kick. 
to the neck and to come back and then he stopped Giad Payak with viciousness in the fourth round. For the last few years he has beaten everyone. Sayok, Armen, Kompetlek, Denpanam, Sotsakorn, Rung Ravi, Chanachan, Rung Ravi twice, Tobias Alexanderson, Pamon called, Kansuk. His last loss was against who? Tong Chai, Sitsang Pinong. Sitsang Pinong, of course. Sitsang Pinong, classic. This is going to be a very, very interesting, fascinating affair. If anyone can spoil his night, though, it's definitely Talay Tong, current champion of his own right. Yes, sir. Super welterweight champions, welterweight champion, Channel 7. Thailand. Of course. Just won the Top King World Series Just four-man qualifier. Yeah. He's riding high. Sure but is. But it's the aggressiveness. Like, he can't come out thinking it's going to be a tit-for-tat, normal Thai-style fight. Because I haven't seen Yusuf do that. He comes out pretty strong. He's like a Terminator. He really is. Quite Strikes, simply, kicks. and this is not a fan moment, it's a realistic moment. He is the king of the middleweights. Yes, of course. I mean, uh, it's quite funny. Just a little side story. Go. We had our WBC Muay Thai awards night uh, two weeks ago. Hashtag bragging. And go. Boa Ka was sitting at the front table, and uh -huh. Yusef was sitting at the opposite table. And all night, uh, Yusef's table, they were, all, uh, they were all talking about a challenge, a rematch. I, I can't see it ever happening because Boa Kao fights on All Star Fight, yeah, yeah, different yeah. promotions, but how good would that be? One for the agents. Here we go. Lumpini Muay Thai title on the line. Yusuf Boganin from Morocco in the red. Talay Tong saw a ton of pet from Thailand in the blue. Five three-minute rounds. Teddy Mulvey alongside Kevin Noon bringing you the action from the world-famous, iconic Lumpini Stadium in the Mecca of Muay Thai, Bangkok, Thailand. Yeah, the very, very dangerous Talay Tong. There's that beautiful combination right there. Against the... Moroccan Terminator, Yusef Bouganin. And just want to take a second, we would not be watching this fight if it wasn't for Mr. Chahe yeah, thank and his you. team at Phoenix. Beautiful team, professional, amazing, nice, love it. Take care of everybody. And how they've embraced the show. sport of Muay Thai, 100% yeah. real Muay Thai, that's what I love about it. And Thailand has embraced them as well. Character and class personified, here we go. Just like my man in Melbourne, Mr. Sai. The Rebellion Muay Thai, 100% Muay Thai, all the way. Oh, they're staying busy and active here around one. Kevin, good check there by Yusuf. Look at the, the, the uh, menace in the eyes of Talay Tong. He's looking at the eyes of Yusuf. He's not looking at his body. Uh, Yusuf looking at the body. Yes, Talay sir. Tong staring in the abyss. Big shot gets caught, though. He's going to get taken down. Oh, great balance for Talay Tong. Yep. And, and you could see that uh, Yusef respected that as well. Yep. Had to jump in, right? There was two steps taken. Referee had to come in. Here we go again. Can he get him? Oh, again, good balance. I was quite surprised this morning. Talay Tong uh, told me he walks around at 164 pounds. He said he made 160 pounds easy this morning. First attempt. Excellent work. Professional vicious, attitude by Talay Tong. Vicious body shot by Talay Tong with the needs. Combination from Yusef. Look for the elbows over the top right now. He's stifling them. Knee to the body. They're both so well matched in uh -huh. the stick power sticks as well. Did you see that? Yes, Neither sir. guy giving an inch. Wrestling for control. He's still taking center, center stage right now. Trying to push to lay Tong to the ropes. He's got this vision, Yusef. He stays in that one mindset the whole time. Never, never ventures out of it. <laughs> oh, oh, it's just There's elbow. those elbows. Just there, though. Timing well yep. off on that one, but you, you know they're there. It's the left step-in elbow he favors the most to lay down. Hot again, body rip. Now the takedown. Now on that occasion, good, good movement, good vision, good timing by Yusuf. So Yusuf adapts. 20 seconds in round one left. Great body rip. Uh, Outside leg kick. combination there by the uh, Moroccan fighter, Yusuf Bouganin. No 70% from either fighter here. They're going 100% on all shots. Great, great defense right there by Talay. Oh. A body rip by Yusuf. Both working those Ooh. body kicks very intelligently there in the first round. That's a great round one right there, folks. Lumpini, coveted Lumpini. Strap on the line. The Muay Thai title here at middleweight. Well, unusually calm here up in the betting booth. You can see right there, there's the betting pit right there, that, that shot that they showed you. 
Very calm. Seems like they're going to be waiting. There you go, the action. There's the catch and kick. Great timing there by Yusuf. Read so well his opponent, but look at that, D. Look at that uh, balance, excuse me, by Tele Tong. Tries it again, can't do that. Takedown. Eventually gets him, though. Caught him here. Body rip. Boom, that's the adaption. So they're going just for the uh, takedown. This time he ripped one to the body. Just enough to get Tele Tong off balance. Yusuf's corner there just in the last minute, just telling him. You've got to unleash your hands more in this going into this second round. But the hands go more and more crisp, more combinations. Teletong's corner just telling him, step up the tempo. There's Cam John Kielesport in the black t-shirt. You, can you can't see it right now. He's the big boss of Kielesport gym, of course. That's where Teletong is training these days. Because uh, Teletong coming from the small little Sortanapet gym in Buri Ram. Kill sport though, quite the stable nowadays. Oh, absolutely, huh? yeah. I mean, really. Got Nua, Nua Pet. Yeah. Well, uh, the fan favorite right now outside yeah. of Kulab Dam at Channel 7 Stadium. And uh, that gym keeps coming up, keeps racking up wins. Based quite in a the, name uh, for the Dong district of uh, Northern Bank. Here we go, round two, five three minute rounds for the Lumpini Muay Thai title middleweight. Yusuf Bogan in the red corner from Morocco. Talay Tong, Seoul, Tanapat. Thailand in the blue. Round two. Beautiful oh, there's, a, there's those body rips they were talking about. They told Yusuf to let his hands go more. Oh, good headshot. Just missed it, though, by Talay Tong. Yeah, Talay Tong has got to stay busy now. Let that left, left kick, right kick go. Oh, what a body rip. Is he going to get taken down? Nope. Huge body rip, though. He shook its great balance on occasions when he, when he gets caught by Yusuf. Oh, good slap, knee to the side. Bullying Yusuf Again. to the corner. Great technique as well on those knees. Yusuf is a knee of his own as he breaks. Good defense, Tele Tong. Oh, I slammed that yep. kick into the arms, though. You're, you're stopping the power of the punching with doing that. Great work by Yusuf. Is that right hand yeah, finally Tele Tong loose? has got to be apprehensive about yep. that. When he lets that kick go, he's got to keep his right hand really high. Because Yusuf will just pile drive that punch through the middle. Very back and forth action now here, round two. Again, just body shots. Now Yusuf's going to let that glove go. Intelligent work here by both fighters in the second round. Absolutely, Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely, yep. Evenly poised up to this point. Back and forth. Yeah, the thought process from both fighters. It's fantastic. Plotting. Oh, big elbow over the top. Almost looked like you wanted to start a clinch. Oh, beautiful slap. Step in knee by technique to push that knee into the midsection of Yusuf. And then knee by Yusuf right there. Oh, he switches up with that left elbow. Yusuf throws him out there. Wow. Wow. Slammed his back in the corner of the ring. How good was the cameraman next yes. to me? His movement, he just... He flew, wow. literally flew by. Is that going to affect him being thrown out of the ring like that? That was amazing. It, it spurred on Yusuf. You can see the uh, tenacity and anger. Oh, he's going to get taken down oh, again. Wow. This time slammed. Oh, but the crowd pops as Talay Tong ends up on top. Yusuf definitely looks and scores that takedown. The look of objectiveness in the eyes of the judges. Sometimes I, yeah. I like to take my eye off the fighters for a second and watch everything else going on. Yusef's letting those hands yes, go. Yes, he is. Tong not backing down no, at all. Not, sir. Absolutely not. Big elbow over the top. That's that left elbow. He loves knee. it. 25 seconds left, round number two. He feigns with the right knee, and then he lets that left elbow go. Huge knee to Tong off the break. Yusef has a war on his hands Yes, here. he does. Not as easy as his last two fights. Oh, look at that defense by Tele Tong. Beautiful. Huge body shot. Switch kicks there. Yusuf. Yeah. Very clever at that. Wow, round two in the books. Tele Tong was actually thrown from the ring. Wow, are you not entertained? Kevin Noon. Phoenix Fighting Championship, man. Best in the business.
The way that they set these cards up, the way that they handle it. Can Yusuf join that elite club of Murat Sari, Damian Alamos, and Rafi Bohic and become the fourth non-tie to win the coveted Lumpini Stadium title? they will be the four horsemen at that point. Wow. All right, two rounds in the books. And here we go, take a look. There's that beautiful body rip there by Tele Tong. This is when he goes, punches the leg, tries to get him out, sweeps him, and boom, that down. And when he slammed his back right there. <laughs> when he slammed his back there, and that was a huge, almost like a WWE slam right there. Not only did he take the legs out, but he drove him down. Good body rip right there as Yusuf comes in. Tele Tong leads it, blocks it there. And the body rip of his own coming on the elbow, Yusuf, though. Yusuf's corner now, everyone in the corner. Even uh, Glory Kickboxing fighter, Le uh, is it Leo, Leo Pinto. Uh, everyone, everyone is telling him now, keep targeting the body, the body with those body shots. Go to the midsection and go left with the left hook. Into the, 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 see, that's the key to victory. Tele Tong has got a oh. smile on his face. He's enjoying this contest. He's enjoying being in there with Yusef Bouganem. You, honestly, Yusef has blown through his last few opponents. This is you will. This is a war, and I like. And so this. it should be. It's for a it's, coveted yep. Lumpini Stadium title. Put the word so it should be. Here we go. Round number four. Yusef Bouganem no, from Morocco. Well, round, round number three. Round, oh, number round three. three. Oh, wow, so I, I got excited. Okay. That's <laughs> why well, so I'm here for you, buddy. Tele Tong so no no in the blue. Piece? Oh, too much, uh, too much Vaseline. Same thing with Yusef in the last round. Yep. So here we go. Round number three, first of the money rounds. Yusef Bogan in the red, Tele Tong in the blue. Lumpini, Muay Thai, middleweight title on the line. Beautiful dexterity there by Tele Tong, setting up that lovely body kick. Almost got caught Checks there. Checks the kick from there. Yusef. That's so beautiful, that check. Yusef goes to the sweep, couldn't get it. Back and forth, these oh, defense no, there. Just lines after the canvas, looking for the balance to throw his opponent. Didn't work on that occasion. Good defensive work by Teleton to uh, find his own balance in that French exchange. Great work. Good body rip there by Teleton. Love that stiff arm by Yusuf. Oh, stabbing Rifling. him with yep. three big knees. Yep, unanswered oh, too. That Yusuf drags him to the ropes. Use the ropes now to find his balance. Yep. Now Coordination. He's Great work. Intelligent work by Yusuf Bouganem. Two minutes, ten seconds left. Round number three. Teddy Mulvey alongside Kevin Noon bringing his nose south. Again, stabbing him with those left knees. Again, Bro. pulling him to the ropes. Oh. Clever work by the uh, Petsanam gym fighter. That body rip has been non-stop. Volume of kicks. Teletang has got to turn the tide here in the uh, third round. Oh, huge elbow yeah, over the top. Beautiful. He, he looks angry Another now. One. He looks oh, like he no. was chopping at that leg. Oh, oh, oh. as he rocks Teletang. There's that right hand now and finds a home. Teletang intelligently wraps him up, takes a break. Oh, what a left hand. I think Yusef is confusing him right now. Yes, he is, sir. With, with the barrage. Oh, and he steps in knee twice. And not ju just the Elbow barrage. Over the, top. the way he's oh, switching, no. switching the intelligence to switch attacks. Beautiful. Oh, that's just a sweep. That's just a uh, sweep. I'm sorry, that's just a slip. Just a slip. Here we go. Oh, that's all. Here. Calm down. Clay Tong's in a world of hurt. Great defense now. What can he do? Can he bully him in the uh, clinch? Tries to get Bogan in against the ropes. Oh, a great stiff right there by Morgan and off the break. Crowd going ballistic, yeah, yeah, 50 seconds left, on, round number three. Intelligent operation here in the fourth, third round. Oh, he got him in the cup. No, 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 the referee doesn't stop it. Defend yourself at all times. What a takedown by Yusuf. Oh, beautiful yeah. balance there, technique to execute There's that, that right hand. Wow, another sweep. He's firing in all cylinders now. Firing on all of them. He's just getting started right now. It's oh, only, man. oh, wow. What a performance here in this round. Kalei Tong charging forward, gets caught. Oh, just stabbed the oh. bottom of his leg with that knee. Wow. Big one, two. Outside leg kick, here we go. The division and the, the honesty and in his intelligence here, Yusuf, in this ten, round. Ten seconds left. Round number three. He's, just, he's overpowering him. He's overthinking him. He's outmaneuvering him. He caught him again. Rips the body shot. Slamming that body kick again into the defense side. Teletong looks demoralized. 
for the want of a better word right now. And you want to do the reverse. The confidence that Jeff grew in Bogeyman when he walked to his corner. The complete opposite. Don't count till they talk out though. This warrior champion in his own right. Still in this. He did damage in round one and two. Thailand's behind him. He's in his home country, but Yusuf, of course, is his adopted son. It's his country as well, his adopted country. He's at home here as well. Wow. Three rounds in the books, Kevin. What a fight, dude. I don't want to jinx it. Oh, here we but go. He's on, he's on course for history here. Well, this. Here we go. Take a look at the. This is where Talay Tong tried to pull him into the ropes, but couldn't do it. Big outside leg kick. Good combination there. Going to the top, going to the bottom. He's stifling knees. So they tell him they're still in it. The warrior. That knee right there and all that. I mean, that from, all, from all the combinations, from all the punches he was throwing, those knees were so vicious. He has a great takedown. So they tell him trying to capitalize on maybe a groin shot. Here's another catch. Hits that inside knee. Beautiful one-two right there by Yusuf. And the aggressiveness there, that right kick, right punch. I love that combination. Tell me what happened. What do you see, Kevin? Tom's corner, they just completely changed the mentality. The game plan has gone out the window. Fourth round, they're just telling him he's got to let that left elbow go. Betting he has got to let that left elbow go. Betting Pitt is going bananas. Absolutely bananas. As for Yusuf's corner, they're yep. not they're not happy with what he's doing they just told him to go out and step up a gear here in the fourth round <laughs> hence step, the reason he's called the terminator step up, step, up, step up a gear yeah why not if he does today tong is in trouble he wants to make history all right let's see how that rest handle today tong double takedown gorgeous it's really demoralizing getting put in your back like that that many times Tully Tong prodding forward. Yeah, he's prodding forward. Now. Just, the mindset now of just hunting for those elbows. Trying to rock Yusuf. It's so difficult to go against a slippery operator like Yusuf. Crowd is going bananas. 30 seconds done here. Ah, good combinations again. What a combination of the body by Yusuf. I thought the mouth guard was on. It's just a piece of paper. Oh, goes for a jumping knee. Doesn't get it though. Tully Tong, good defense. Eats a lot of knees right now. And that right knee again is the left hand side of the body of Tully Tong. Great body rip. You gotta admire the tenacity of Tully Tong. Keeps coming forward. Good head movement there. The super welterweight champion of Challenge 7 Stadium. Use his footwork and technique is really, really shining right now. Two uh, minutes left. He's just working every oh. angle under the sun right now. Tolay Tolay Tong is exhausted. He's exhausted. No. A minute 43. Can he last? Wow. Ah, oh, beautiful faint yeah. step in the uh, use of Oh my god. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Is the ref gonna stop it? The Terminator! Yusef He's Bugin gone! Him. He showed a bit of compassion there. Did you see that? What, 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 he pressed, what, what, he pressed what, balls. Yeah, he didn't he want really, to hurt him. He, re he really did. So they turned on moving forward. Oh, he got rocked! that right hand. Sometimes you're too brave for your own good. Two down. elbows! The referee oh, needs no. to call this now. He's letting him go out on his shield. He's letting him go out on his honor. A big elbow there to Leighton, but he missed. Yusuf looks so oh, that's it. Standing eight count, but I don't know if he's going to get up. Yusuf looks crisp. Leighton. If he puts his hands up, he's got a right to continue as long as the referee sees in the eyes. And there he goes. Can he weather this storm? Big shot. Oh, no. His hands are down. And that's it. There you have it. History wow. has been written. Just destroyed him, demoralized him, broke him. Anything else you want to say? Took him a few rounds, though. Billy Tong was in it for the first few, for sure. And then just... Wow. He is being taken out of the ring right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, he's got to go see. He's got to go see. He's got to go see medical attention immediately. And wow. there you go. There the, you have it. The, the club of three is now the club of four. Is now. Yeah. Yusef Buganem joins Morad Sari, Damian Alamos, and Rafi Bohic 
has the only foreigners to win coveted Lumpini Stadium titles. Sari and Alamos won super lightweight belts. Bohic won the welterweight. And now Guggenheim has won the middleweight. Take a look highlights. there at this destruction. The body rip. There was that, that's the Hail Mary elbow blood leaking from Tomei Tong. Two vicious sniper knees to the gut. Boom, right to the outside, that elbow. Vicious blood starts leaking down, and the referee finally comes in. Haul out, haul out, enough is enough. And there he is. Ladies and gentlemen, your new Lumpini Muay Thai middleweight champion from Morocco, Yusef Bukhanam Pet Samba! Kevin, at what point, you've been in this game a long time, at what point is he going to be called the greatest middleweight at all time? Oh, I don't know about that one. No, we'll no. leave that question for another time. Okay, sir. Interesting question, but I'll stay away from that. But he, of the modern times, he's got to go up there, one of the all-time greats in the modern times. He deserves it, the warrior. Perseverance the, uh, to, to continue with what he has done. Absolutely incredible. Don't go anywhere, we've got our main event coming up next. Pananjai Ratchananjin taking on Rambo Pet or, or, or. Of course, Rambo is the current lightweight, 135 pounds.